All right, you can continue. Sorry. You don't need to tell me to continue. See, that's the problem. You ladies need to learn how to stay in your place when you deal with What's me. up, everybody? It's your boy, ES Solo Thoughts. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Kevin Samuels. Why doesn't my money make me look better? <laughs> but we're going to see what he's talking about in this one. And make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe for more reaction videos like this one. What's up, everybody? I'm back with another Kevin Samuels reaction. And by the look of the title, this should be interesting. But I'm not going to hold you guys up any longer. We're going to jump straight into this reaction. Let's get it. Pretty professional women feel like they can have it all. Mm. Well, personally, I feel like we work for it. I don't feel like... I feel like a man works for... I, I think I, I saw a video the other day that you were doing and the woman was down there, the girl who was making all the funny faces. And um, she said she had dated a plastic surgeon and he started making all this money and he started talking about poly uh, relationships. And you were like, well, because he's making that amount of money and that's what he wants, then that's what he should go for. And you were like, regardless of how he looks physically, if he's worked to make that money and his values have changed to the point where he doesn't, <laughs> um, that why is it not the same thing for women? Like, uh, did you not pay attention to the last call? First of all, she agreed. The woman in that video agreed with that. I'm not saying I don't agree with it. I'm not no, saying no, I don't. No, no, no. I'm just want to be clear because you didn't tell the entire story. The woman who made that point agreed with that. She just didn't right. want to participate in it. Mm. Right, but my point wasn't a disagreement with how you spoke about that. My point was the... Your point was, question. if men can do it, why can't women do it? Because you can't. It's a double standard. <laughs> it's a double standard. Yeah. And see, the thing is, you ladies like double standards when they benefit you. Mm. You want to give me an example? Uh, you want How many of y'all are serving in the forward areas in the military? How many of you are digging ditches and, and, and doing the dirty, disgusting job to make this country run? That you want equal representation, equal votes, but you don't want to actually become a firefighter and not have the test be altered because you can't do a 200 pound dead man's carry. Mm. Is that for you want equality. You want equality. Well, I don't think all women choose to, not to do that. No, no, personally. I don't. See, that's what one thing I don't do, ma'am. One thing I don't do is I don't get into this not all conversations. That's that's not what I do. We stick in the general because that's just a deflection tactic. There are double standards. Do you I have any children? Yes, I have a 12 year old. 12 year old what? Son. 12 year old son. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you gonna put him in Girl Scouts? No, I wouldn't why, do that. Why not? Why? No, no, no. We're all the same, right? See? Go, go let him sell. Go let him sell thin mints. Right. I understand where you're coming from. No, no, no. If he want, if he wanted to, he said, "Mommy, I want one of the cute little Girl Scout outfits, and I want to sell thin mints and s'mores." I'm and sure, but there are men out there who will allow their. No, we're talking to about you. You. We're talking I would. About you. you ask the question. Okay, I would. I'm asking you. If your son wants to come in and play and sell thin mints and s'mores. And all this other stuff. Yeah, you're gonna tell them, yes, son, I support you because your your boys and girls are equal. That's what you're gonna do? You're gonna get them in a nice little sassy uniform and march them down there and get them some pigtails? Hmm? No, but I don't I don't feel like money is a double standard. You feel like money is a double standard when it comes to men and women? You said money, no, no, no. I was thinking money is a double standard. No, don't switch the subject. Are you switching I said I'm there, not. I said there are it. double standards. Yeah, I said there are double standards. That's why right, I said so there are double standards. And you're so and the double standards when it comes to women and men. Maybe? There are a few, but are you you're putting money in the category of double standards between men and women? Yes, your money doesn't matter to us. If so, so I, listen, listen. If so, why do all why do women and what is wrong with your connection? Are you on like Wi Fi or something? You got cricket wireless. No, I'm not on Wi Fi. I just have my phone in my hand, excuse but me. But it's really this woman is all over the place, man. <laughs> Digitized, so it's it's really it's a really slow connection on your side. It's like okay. Ready? I'm ready. If money 
equal the playing field, why do women like Jill Scott, Mary J. Blige, and women like that end up not being able to marry men who are their colleagues? Why do they end up having to marry, typically do like Nicki Minaj and marry these no name people? Because women can't use money to overcome their actual sexual marketplace value. We don't care about your money. It's a different calculus. And just like you said, you wouldn't let your son be go to Girl Scouts because boys and girls are different because it's a double standard. Okay, well, we're, with, with that. Okay, so. Let's not agree to disagree. That's another one of these subjective truth, my truth bullshits. <laughs> no, two plus so two is four. I'm not going to use profanity with you, sir. If you want no, me to ask me to say bullshit, I'll say bullshit. If you don't want to hear it, plug your ears. <laughs> you told me you, uh, but I think that's the problem too. I think men want us to act like ladies, but then they in turn treat us like. I said your... it's bullshit. I didn't curse at you. I didn't call you something. I didn't say, I didn't say that. <laughs> but you oh, tell, try to understand something. Don't try to tell me as a man on my show how I need to act. I'm not going to curse at you. If you don't want to curse, don't curse. I just asked a question. I didn't. I didn't demand you do anything, darling. Well, it's not even for your place to ask. This it's is not my. my Man, these women be wilding out on here, man. All right, you can continue, sorry. You don't need to tell me to continue. See, that's the problem. You ladies need to learn how to stay in your place when you deal with men. I can continue, I can do whatever, I can click you off, I can click you on. You can. Look, she laughing. Where's your son's father? Where's my son's father? He's in another state, but he's in his life. Okay. Why didn't you guys marry? We were young. I was I was 16 when I got pregnant, 17 when I had my son. I was actually going to the military, but I couldn't go to the military due to a small disability. But, uh, I ended up marrying a Marine at 21 and uh, long distance issues, we decided to divorce. Man, I don't know what's going on with your connection because like your your audio is going in and out. Um, well, let me connect, connect to Wi Fi. <laughs> I can cut it up for you. Hold on. So, why is it? Do you think men and women should be? You should, do you think there should be no difference in treatment between men and women? Yes, I do. Like what? Perfect example is how I just try to communicate to you that if I'm treated like a woman, I'll act as such. But if I'm not treated as a woman, then there's this defense mechanism that comes up. Oh, that's that, bullshit. That, that's that's bullshit. Let me tell you, see, that's, that's another one. That's that's more that's more bullshit. Let me tell you right now. A feminine woman is a feminine woman. See, we don't accept men saying they turn they turn their masculinity on and off. Okay, what are you doing to? We don't, we don't accept men saying, uh, I'll be a man if you treat me like a man, but if you don't treat me like a man, I'll act like a, a, a orangutan. Exactly. Men are masculine they because they are. Often. They do that quite often, though, sir. Don't tell me what they do. Those are the men you deal with. Don't tell me that men do that. Maybe the men you deal with. I'm not going to let you come okay. in here and just say what men do. Hey. Well, let me rephrase that for you. There is a vast majority amongst the black women obviously is a collective that believe that men do the same thing believe yeah, you can believe whatever you want because the women you are talking about don't deal with facts data statistics or reality it's called delusion so i don't I doubt that many of the women you speak of are delusional you're right i believe in statistics though i, I believe well i believe but i believe that if you can have observable reality facts data and statistics and that you can still have people believe something else that can be proven false and they still believe it, that's called delusion. Okay, so when are you going to prove actual, when actual facts are proven, I believe them, but when there's a blurred line there in which can be persuaded to each or other, then belief is very much so, you know, the prerogative of the person. What? Did you just give me the in living color skit? I, what if you, you like you it. Just 
if you liked it, darling. But that's that's the truth. What do you think you just said? What did you think I just said? I just said a that. bunch of babble. Even people <laughs> in the comment section are like, what is she talking about? Well, I wasn't reading the comments since I know you don't like that. But obviously you're, you're all right, man. So. Um, I'll tell you what. You 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 have you you have a point of view. You're entitled to your point of view. Men and women are not equal. I don't expect them to be equal. Just like you don't want your boy going to um you wouldn't want him being a Girl Scout. And if you want double, if you want everybody to why if men can do it, why can't women do it? Because we can't because men can run around and have sex all over town. He's a player. Women do it, you a hoe. Well, I wasn't trying to presume but that's, that. That's, I, that's just the, I didn't make those rules though. Mm -hmm. I'm, and those rules are simply fine. But I was just wondering. Yeah. But the thing is, like, ma'am, you you're thirty. How old? I'm thirty. Period. Okay. Well, I'm assuming that as a mother, you understand that these rules exist, and I don't understand okay. why women who are grown women, fully grown women, are still asking why do double standards exist because they do i'm not asking that what i asked was i didn't think that money was considered a double standard because i've seen it both ways money is I, money doesn't make a woman look better right but money, money makes a man look like, better mm. interesting you don't, you don't, you don't think <laughs> are you saying Money makes a man look better. Let me explain something to you because she's not seeming to get it. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, look at former Dallas Cowboy Nate Newton and guys like him, the guys who are not really good looking. See, there's a term with money. He's ugly, but he ain't ugly, ugly. We all know that money makes a man look better. All right, ma'am. Um, I, I don't think this is going anywhere. Um, yeah, I just want to argue, just be arguing. Why, why, why is the sun hot? <laughs> Man, that woman, she was on one. She, so many questions to ask and stuff. But name of the game, men and women aren't equal. You know what I mean? Like, um, let's say <clears throat> there's a club and Women get the discount, but men have to pay fifteen dollars to get in or something. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. That's just that's the example of that men and women aren't equal. You know, certain situations, men get the benefit of the doubt, and certain other situations, women get the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's just how life is, in my opinion. Agree to disagree. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'm gone. Peace.